Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to Fazoli's Fast Fresh Italian. Um, they have a new uh, bake that I'm going to try, so I'm going to uh, turn the camera around and we'll go through drive through together and uh, we'll see how long it takes. Um, yeah, can I have one of your four cheese stuffed shells, please? Okay, four cheese stuffed shells. Well, can't afraid Um, I think that's it. Does that come with breadsticks? That'll come with two breadsticks. That's fine. All right, I'm going to take 59 at the window. Thank you. It's always good when it comes with some breadsticks. Although sometimes the breadsticks are okay. Sometimes they're too hard. Sometimes they're too mushy, um, and sometimes they're perfect. I like the flavor of them regardless of what the texture is like, but the, the texture, sometimes they'll overbake them a little bit, and sometimes they're, uh, they must be really hard to get just right. But I like them anyway. I like that garlicky, salty kind of flavor they get from the outside. I'll tell you what, this place next door to this this one, they just opened a, like a Giovanni's Pizza. Um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Giovanni's Pizza, and uh, it is packed. They used to, there was another one, they're just not putting the sign up actually. Uh, they they moved, they were down um, somewhere else and they moved here recently and um, they were doing okay business before, but this place, they must be in a good spot because they're getting some, getting some good business here. Thank you. Oh, on the other side? Uh, yes, it'll be right before you get to the door. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Quite often, I have to pull up over here. My car in front of me did not have to pull up over here, but I always have to pull over here. I don't know if it's because I get, like, baked stuff or I don't know. So they have drive through one and two. Ooh, blah, ooh, blah. So we'll sit here and wait. I can tell you what the cost is real quick. Um, for the four cheese stuffed shells, um, it was $9.99 plus whatever your um, local sales tax um, in your area is. So my total was $10.59 with, you know, with tax. So $10, not too bad. They also have a garlic um, stuffed shells and it's a dollar more. It's like $10.99, it's $10.99. I thought this one would be better to just try for the first time just to see what it's like. That way um, I might deal with garlic shrimp. But uh, I like garlic shrimp. I like a, like a, a shrimp, um, um, can't think of the name of it. The one that's really garlicky. Um, I'll think of it in a second. Anyway, I, I like those. Um, I, we had them uh, all the time when we were, when I was younger. We used to eat them uh, scampi, shrimp scampi, that's it. Um, Somebody yelling at the camera, scampi! Um, shrimp scampi is really buttery and garlicky. Uh, we used to get them frozen and you put them in a pan you and you thaw them out and we put it over to our cook, heat it up. And then we would put it over like uh, egg noodles and it was just so, so good. It was so, so fattening. I mean, it was so, so unhealthy. But anyway, it was the best stuff. I don't even know if they make that brand of shrimp scampi anymore. It was like, uh, I think it was in a box, but I can't swear to it. It might have been in a plastic bag it's been so long ago i don't remember but it was excellent um like i said just full of butter and then you would cook your um your egg noodles and then me and tam would split up the the shrimp and you would pour the that juice that buttery sauce uh, over top of your noodles we'd split it that was so good so good don't eat like that anymore can't eat like that anymore Stuff show? Yep, that's me. You Thank you very show. much. Have a great day. It was nice. I think I'm just going to pull over. Uh, pull over. I'll pull over here. Kind of out of the way. I think I pulled over here before to eat. Okay. So I'm going to be right back. 
Okay, so here is the meal. There's the two breadsticks that came with those for the $9.99. And here's the shells. You get three stuffed shells. There are four, four Italian cheeses. I don't know what they are. Um, I, I didn't see it in the description, to be honest with you. Um, and then it's um, got uh, Parmesan on top of it. It looks like panko. Yeah, those are like panko breadcrumbs, if I'm not mistaken. That's what they look like. So anyway, I'm going to get the camera turned around, and um, we'll try them out. Okay, the way they were packaged, the, the meal is in the, the tray, that aluminum tray had a lid, so that's good. And then in the bottom of the plastic bag they gave me to, uh, you know, they actually had the stuff in it, uh, the food in it. It had like a piece of cardboard in the bottom of it, which I think is really good because the cardboard kept it from like wanting to bend or anything like that. It, it provided a really stable base to it, so that's really nice. And they gave me silverware that has a fork and a knife and a napkin in it, so that's nice. I like to tell you what you get, and of course you get your breadsticks. Um, let me stick my silverware in my tray. I'll probably have to cut these up, just to let you know. Uh, for a full description of whatever they offer on their website, um, I did, I actually, I'm getting old, I'm just forgetting stuff. I actually printed out the description before I left the house, and then promptly left the, the description on the printer <laughs> at home. So, so I just looked really quickly on the website and it didn't say what kind of cheeses and stuff they were, but um, if they give them, I'll put them in the description below. It'll, it'll be there for you, so um, so you'll be able to see it. So I'm gonna try one of the breadsticks first. The breadsticks are, like I said, some, these look really nice. These are good and soft, but they're not hard on the ends. Sometimes they get really, like they over bake them on the tips, which this one's really good and soft. Oh yeah. Good garlic flavor. Like I said, they're a touch salty, which I like. I'm gonna dip it in this. Uh, I'm gonna dip it in the sauce that you get with these um, shells. Hmm. That's really good. It's got a really good, um, like tomato sauce flavor. Ooh, there's a little bit of cheese coming out. Mm. Breadsticks, excellent. You know, four and a half out of five. For me, that could be a little stronger garlic and saltiness, but that's just me. Um, and it's different every time. Since they make them like right there in the store, it's different every time you get them. So, um, you know, the next time I go, it might be um, um, super salty and really over garlic. Who knows? Um, let me get one of these shells. I'm, like I said, I'm going to have to cut these because they're really big. This would be like the jumbo shells you would get um, if you go to the pasta aisle at, at the grocery store and you, you get the jumbo shells. Um, that's what these are. They're, they're really big. Um, plenty of sauce. Like I do have to say, they, they it looks like they give you plenty of, uh, of tomato sauce. I don't know if I can cut one of these in half and show you what it looks like inside. I just don't know if it's going to be possible because they have so much to, um, sauce around it. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to hold this up and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Okay. This is half of one. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see what's the filling inside. You can see the cheeses and stuff inside. It probably doesn't do it justice. Um, but anyway, it's it's big. It's really big. So, again, I'm trying to cut it. And I'm going to have to maybe let it cool off just a hair. I'm glad they give me a knife, though, because you do want to cut this pasta in half. And some of the cheese has gotten, uh, um, like, really baked. So it's... Um, it's not just pull apart cheese. It's kind of got that um, kind of like a crispy cheese texture. So uh, you have to kind of cut through it. Um, that's way too big. I'm trying to get a bite that's a decent size, but it doesn't try to kill me. This one's good. Okay. Here we go. And it does have some of that topping in there. Um, well, like I said, it looks like panko, but it might just be like a toasted Parmesan. I can't tell. Um, it'll be in the description. Mm. 
I dare say the pasta is cooked really nicely. It's um, it's the perfect texture as far as pasta goes. It's got that, um, it's still got some texture to it. So it's, it's firm enough to where you, you actually are chewing something, but it's not like underdone to where it's not crunchy or hard or anything. But it's also not mushy, which I don't like mushy pasta at all. This is really, really nice texture wise. This one really has some of that topping on there. They're very creamy. If I didn't know any better, which I'm pretty sure that cheese is like a ricotta cheese. And there's probably some Parmesan and mozzarella. And I don't know what the other kind is, but I'm almost positive that's a ricotta cheese because it looks like a lasagna cheese. Um, which is almost always ricotta, which looks it's really, really good. There's no yellow cheese in here, though, so don't expect uh, cheddar or Colby or anything like that. It's all uh, it's a white cheese. I like these. I like the um, I like the flavor quite a bit. The uh, you really get the the flavors of the cheese themselves. The cheese really stands out. You get the Parmesan flavor from the top, and the uh, you get that ricotta cheese flavor too. It's just a really nice cheese flavor. Um, the pasta sauce itself, the, the tomato sauce, is a, a very good tomato flavor. One thing I do have to say though, the tomato, there's some seasonings there. I'm assuming that's coming from the tomato sauce. I like this um, quite a bit. It's got a really good, like I said, the, the pasta is cooked really, really well. And the, the cheese adds a creaminess to it that um, that really goes nicely with it. And then the tomato sauce just adds a nice tomato sauce uh, flavor. It doesn't really add a texture to it, but it adds a nice flavor to it. Maybe it makes it a little bit um, runnier, softer, thinner, something, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a bite kind of off the edge of the pan that has a lot of the tomato sauce, but not quite as much of the breading. Hmm. I think if you like, I think if you like a, um, a cheesy stuffed shell, you'll really like this. Um, I'm surprised they don't have another version. I know they have the garlic version, which is fun. And the garlic would probably be, the garlic shrimp would be really, really good with this. Um, I'm really surprised they don't have um, like an Italian sausage stuffed shell, like it has cheese and sausage in it, because that would have been awesome. That would have been like the best choice ever, is to have it not only stuffed with a little bit of cheese, but put a little pocket of, um, of Italian sausage in there as well to give it that, that seasoning and that spice in there. This is really, really good. Just know that the cheese tends to be a little bit plainer flavor-wise than if you had like sausage in it. So you're getting a a really good strong cheesy flavor and then you're getting the textures of the pasta and you're getting a little bit of that tomato sauce the like i said it does have some seasoning to it some spices it's not like burn your mouth spices but there are some seasonings to it um i don't know if that's coming from the tomato sauce or the topping they're sprinkling over the top because i can see there's like little bits of seasoning all in that topping they put on so that could be where the seasoning is coming from it's hard to say but um, my guess is a lot of it's from the tomato sauce itself. Um, could also be from the cheese blend. Maybe they're mixing in some seasonings with the cheese blend as well. Overall, I think this is a really good meal. I would definitely get it out. Get one of these again if you're uh, like a stuffed shell. I would probably give this whole thing a four and a half out of five. I really do like it. Um, it'd probably move up to a five if they added some sausage though. But you know, at least they have the option where you can just do cheese if you want to. But they should also have an option for sausage. And, and the, the garlic shrimp sounds really good too. Don't know how much shrimp you're going to get, but it sounds like a good option. It would really, that garlic would really bump up the flavor a lot too. So yeah, four and a half for me. I think it's good. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.